Barrel Farming Technology. Unseemlier to other farming that we've previously shown you, this farming is carried underwater, which mainly starts with a diving of three to four divers carrying a tray where the farming operations are carried. The coral plantation is done in a linear and colonial manner. The plantation is done because these coral reefs provide a crucial ecosystem for life underwater, secures the coastal areas by smoothing the potential of waves hitting the coast, and most importantly, it's the source of income for various people because under one coral reef, various species are born, considering fishes as one of the example, which later becomes the source of food for various people. Though not only on the surface of Earth can farms be made, but it can be done underwater too. Similarly, estimations say that over 1 billion people make a livelihood through coral farming, and the overall market for this farming is worth about $172 billion every year. Additionally, this farming doesn't require the adoption of modern technologies and equipment for the plantation of corals, because main operations are done manually. Though it seems to be very easy, in reality, it's more sophisticated than the procedures look. Keep watching to find out why. If you're obsessed with watching more videos similar to these videos, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Goniopora coral. Goniopora belongs to the family Portidae, which includes the genus Porites, a well-known small polypod stony coral that many hobbyists have successfully grown and even propagated. Despite its taxonomic affinity with the small polypod Porites, many Goniopora species have large polyps that can greatly extend themselves, forming long, swaying tubes with flower-like tentacles at their tips. Most Ganipora that aquarists are familiar with is the large, long-polyped G. stokesi and G. labara, since these are by far the most commonly imported species. But many species share a more similar appearance and connection with porites. Coral cutting. After a quick analysis, when the divers or the workers feel that the coral reefs have thoroughly grown, then these reefs are shattered into various pieces. The tray where the reefs are placed floats with the divers by his side. Similarly, the coral reefs that are cut will not take them long to recover and regrow. This usually happens within a few hours. Then the growth cycle continues with the little branches of these coral reefs, which in return doubles the production because one single reef produces more than 15 branches. And thus, this is how the cycle gets continued. Aquarium Coral Farm An aquarium only Yes, if someone intends to farm coral indoors, it entails only an aquarium with an attached pump to keep the water flow on. But it entails more than one and a larger aquarium if one intends to farm corals on a large level. Similarly, it's also important to grow the coral reefs on a particular soil to get the best results out of it. Similarly, to ensure their quality, these reefs also need to be checked on a periodic basis because this process of growing them in aquariums is artificial and not the exact natural process.
While growing for indoor coral farming keeps the water clean, though, corals can go with dirty water, but laterally it will lead them towards destruction. Therefore, go with clean water to ensure their good health. This theory is backed by a series of research that strengthens the concept that cleaner water and the environment contribute to the best growth for corals. Keep watching! Growing coral reefs in the ocean begins with the placement of coral reefs on the metal stands, which are further taken by the divers straight into the ocean with the assistance of boats. Similarly, unlike other farming, this farming is pretty expensive because the coral itself costs a very handsome cost and also entails extravagant care, not less than a headache. Scientists have explored only about 20% of the ocean's floor, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. As such, ocean explorers continue to discover previously unknown coral reefs that have likely existed for hundreds of years. There are hundreds of different species of coral, according to the organization Coral. Coral has a dazzling array of shapes and colors, from round, folded brain corals, named for their resemblance to a human brain, to tall, elegant sea whips and sea fans that look like intricate, vibrantly colored trees or plants. <laughs> 